Every year I lead a youth pilgrimage expedition along the North Wales Pilgrim's Way with some amazing other youth leaders and always a fantastic bunch of young people. And we journey from Clamberis all the way through to Bardsey Island. Uh, hard work, hard walking, uh, five days of, of, of really quite tough walking. About the middle uh, of the expedition, we, we come down off um, some hills uh, near Areval on the Glyn Peninsula and drop into uh, a church called Pistich for lunch. And it's my favourite church. And we run uh, a reflection for the young people, um, which, which, uh, which was given to me by a dear friend from Bangor Diocese. When you, uh, when you walk into um, the church, you're struck by the fact that there are dried reeds uh, all the way up the aisle. And, and my friend explained to me the reason for this is that in ancient times, the church community uh, used to grow medicinal and sweet smelling herbs and plants and lay them up the aisle so that the pilgrims, many barefooted, many with bruised and cut and, and painful feet, would make their way as part of their pilgrimage up the aisle to say their prayers and reflect or to have shelter or to eat food. And they'd make their way up the aisle and as they were doing so they would crush these herbs and these flowers and, and they would treat their feet and they would treat their, 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 their pain and their cuts and their bruises and, and obviously you know they would probably make things smell a whole lot better. Um, and so what we say to the young people is we say to them, look, you know, um, this is significant. This is significant because we're in here for the same reasons as those ancient pilgrims. We're here to seek God, to find meaning to our lives, to, to find hope, some of us to find healing. What is it that we need um, metaphorically? What do we need? What are our sweet smelling herbs and medicinal plants what do we need to ask God for but we also then turn that on its head and say what herbs and plants metaphorically can we leave for other people is it a word of encouragement is it a smile how can we bring hope and joy and love and peace to other people how can we create that aisle of medicinal sweet smelling herbs that met so much needs of those ancient pilgrims and I guess we find ourselves in a time where this is an important element that we need to consider as the church as Christians as people who believe in the way of Jesus what is it that we can do in small ways to lay those herbs and those plants down to meet the needs of people and what is it that we need for ourselves what hope do we need what hope can we give other people i'll leave you with that to think about may god bless you